Hello, first grade. We are going to learn some new words today. So get out your practice paper and pencil. We'll start by going over any two or more letter phonograms that are going to be in our words. So the first phonogram is f. Right? One more time, say it while you write it. Remember, if I'm ever going too fast, just pause the video until you can write and then go ahead and unpause it. This is our th. Mm. All right, our next one is er the er of her. Go ahead and say it while you write it. This is er the er of her. All right, the next one is aw that we do not use at the end of English words. What are you going to write? Good aw that we do not use at the end of English words. Say it while you write it. All right, this is our aw that we do not use at the end of English words. All right, and and that is all for our phonograms. Let's see, our first word is grandfather. What's the word? Good, grandfather. My grandfather fought in World War II, grandfather. How many syllables are in grandfather? Good, there are three syllables in grandfather. All right, we already learned father. That's gonna be our base word. So that's gonna help us out here. So our first syllable is grand. What's the first syllable? Good, grand. And what sounds do we hear in the syllable grand? Okay, good, it's g, r, a, n, d. Okay, go ahead and write that first syllable. Say the sounds while you write them. All right, our next we're going to do our base word father. So we're going to try and do those two syllables together. What sounds do we hear in our base word father? All right, so our first syllable is fa. Good, and our aw is a a a. Which a are we going to use? Good, a a a. Our third syllable is ver. What sounds do we hear in that? Good, it's th and er the er of her. All right, write father and say the sounds while you write them. Remember, use a a a. All right, class, tell me what I need to write to spell grandfather. Which awe is it? Good, at a awe. And which er is it? Good, er the er of her. All right, make sure yours looks like mine. This is kind of a tricky word, it's pretty long. And then as soon as it is, as yours looks like mine, we can go ahead and mark it. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, nothing in that first syllable. How about this? This one. Good, it's saying it's third sound. Aw. How about this one? Good, we're going to underline it. What are the two sounds of this phonogram? Good. <laughs> and it's saying th. So we're going to put a little two right on top there. And. Good, we need to underline our er, the er of her. All right, let's say our sounds and put them together. All right, nice job. Our next word is grandmother. What's the word? Good. So 
just like, so mother is our base word. We already learned mother. If you remember how we say mother to spell it, tell me. Good, we have to say mother. So to spell grandmother, we're going to say grandmother. How do we say grandmother to spell it? Good, grandmother. So our first syllable is grand, just like in grandfather. So what are we gonna write for that first syllable? Good, it's g, r, a, n, d. So write that and put your syllable mark at the end. All right, and our, our second and third syllables are going to be mother. So what are we going to write for our first syllable, or our second syllable, ma? Good. M, a, it's a, o, u. All right, and then thir. Good. So our second and third syllables, it's m, a, l, or the er of her. All right, go ahead and write that. All right, class. What am I? What do I need to write to spell grandmother? And which er is it? Good. Er, the er of her. Okay. Let's mark it. Mm -mm. Ooh, there's nothing to mark in there. Good. We need to underline our, our l and same as second sound. And good. We need to underline our er, the er of her. Okay, so I split up the syllables this way, but if we could have split the syllables up this way as well, that's actually what the book has. So everyone makes mistakes, we just have to learn from them. All right, let's see. Our next word is, the next word is sun. What's the word? Good, now sun is a homophone. So this isn't like the sun in the sky. This is, let's see, my, um, my friend's son is in first grade, sun. All right, so sun, that kind of sun is a two-way word. To spell it, we say son. Right, how do we say that to spell it? Good, son. What sounds do we hear in the word son? Good, it's s, a, n. Go ahead and write those sounds. Say them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell son? Or sorry, to spell son. Excellent. All right, does this need a marking? Nope. Nope. There's nothing to mark except to spell this word, we say son. When we're speaking, we say son. So which of our phonograms is going to get a thinking cap? Good, it's our a, o, u. All right, so how do we say this word to spell it? Good, we say son. But when we're speaking, what do we say? Excellent, we say son. All right, our next word is daughter. What's the word, what's our word? Good, my sister has a daughter, daughter. All right, so daughter is a two-way word. To spell it, we've got some silent letters in there. So the way we say it is gonna sound quite strange. To spell daughter, we say dog -ter. All right, do that with me, dog -ter. All right, now by yourself. 
All right, and how many syllables in dog tur? That one's kind of tricky. There's two syllables in it. All right, our first syllable is going to be dog. What sounds do we hear in that first syllable, dog? Okay, this one's kind of tricky. D, a, g. All right, one more time. What are we going to write? D, a, g. All right, and our a is a that we do not use at the end of English words. Okay, that's a lot to remember. So go ahead and write that first syllable, dog. All right, our second syllable is ter. What's our second syllable? Good. And what sounds do we hear in the syllable ter? Good. T er, and it's er the er of her. So go ahead and write that second syllable in dog ter. And now tell me what I need to write to spell it. Which a? Good, a uh, that we do not use at the end of English words. Which er? Good, er, the er of her. All right, make sure your dog tur looks like mine. And then we'll go ahead and mark it. Does this need a marking? How about this? Good, we underline our a uh, that we do not use at the end of English words. All right, how about this guy? Now what, we're gonna go ahead and double underline that because we don't hear it in our word. And how about this one? Yep, we're gonna double underline that too. All right, because these are silent letters. All right, does this need a marking? And good, we underline our er, the er of her. All right, so let's say our sounds and put them together. We are going to say our silent letters just because we've got to get that two-way pronunciation into our head so we don't leave these out. All right, good. So to spell this word, we say dog ter. When we're speaking, what do we say? Right, daughter. All right. Our next word is sister. What's the next word? Good, I have an older sister. How many syllables are in sister? Good, there are two syllables. All right, what sounds do we hear in the word? In the, let's try and do both syllables. The first one is sis. What sounds do we hear? Good, and the second one is ter. What sounds do we hear in that? Good, and it's er, the er of her. So see if you can write all the sounds in sister. Say them while you write them. All right, what do I need to write to spell sister? All right, let's mark it. Does this need a marking? And good, we underline our er, the er of her. All right, let's say our sounds and put them together. All right, the next word is win. What's the word? Good, I do not always win when I play chess, win. All right, what sounds do we hear in the word win? Good, what, eh, mm. Write those sounds, say them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell win? Good, okay, let's mark it. Does this need a marking? Nope, there's nothing to mark, so let's say the sounds and put them together. All right, now when is a verb, 
It is an irregular verb. That means we do not use what to make it past tense? Good, we don't use our edit for irregular verbs. So the past tense of win is one. The next word we're going to write is the past tense of win, one. I won the game last weekend, one. It's a two-way word. To spell it, we have to say won. How do we say one to spell it? Good, won. What sounds do we hear in the word won? Good, it's w, a, n. Write those sounds and say them while you write them. All right, class, what do I need to write to spell won? All right, good, let's mark it. Does this need a marking? All right, let's say our sounds and put them together. Good, to spell this, we say won. When we're speaking, we say won. All right, so which, let's see. Let me just check and see. Okay, that's what it says to do. Which phonogram is going to get our thinking cap? All right, if, if we're gonna put it on our uh, oh, ooh. Hmm. All right. <laughs> um, so, great, let's go back and review our two-way words. How do we say this word to spell it? Good, we say son. How do we say it when we're speaking? Right, son. How do we say this word to spell it? Good, dog -ter. When we're speaking, what do we say? Right, daughter. And how do we say this word to spell it? Right, wan. But when we're speaking, what do we say? Good, one. All right. Let, all right, nice job class, and I will see you next time.